Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today we are going to be checking out Azunia Tequila. Yes, never had this brand before. Super excited. We got both the Blanco and the Añejo. These are really tall looking, classy looking bottles here. Um, again, excited because we have both the Blanco and the Añejo. If you don't know, all of your aged expressions, extra Añejos, Añejos, Reposados, all they come from is the Blanco, yes. So a brand will take that Blanco, end up putting it into barrels, letting it rest and age some, and out comes your aged expressions like this Añejo. So super excited to kind of do this little flight. We're going to start off with that Blanco. We're then going to give a taste to the Añejo and really be able to pick out that age progression and see what did that master distiller do with this Blanco juice and how did they get it and turn it into this Añejo. Super excited. Thanks for being with us. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. So this Blanco right here, just kind of showcasing the bottle. Um, our neck got that Asunia seal Blanco going on. Asunia uh, Tequila State Crafted Blanco. It is organic, it says. 100% um, agave, of course. You got the distillery, 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Uh, big USDA sticker right up on front. On the back, we got like a little story going on. This is NOM1426. Um, really, it's just kind of talking about how the tequila itself is crafted, a little bit of the process, um, and that's that for the Blanco bottle. Looking at the Añejo, same exact stuff, except over here we have reserved, whereas over here we have organic. It says Añejo reserved. But looking at the bottle itself, everything else is very similar. Really dark looking bottle right there. Really dark looking juice inside. Um, again, 100% agave, 80 proof on this. And the story is the same. The only difference on both of these bottles is right here. Um, the Blanco ends up saying this unaged Asunia Blanco offers a clean floral nose with hints of agave and lemon. Celebrate with its long-lasting finish of light pepper and citrus. On this end, uh, the Añejo says it's rich with fruit and caramel essence. Uh, it's smooth buttery finish of vanilla spices, chocolate, and caramel. So pretty cool, pretty excited for this. Um, and let's get it poured out, all right? So let your bottles pop. Oh, that's kind of stuck in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a great one. Just lifted open uh, the Blanco. Nice wooden top there. Again, just kind of feels a little bit premium. It looks a little classy on there. I'm digging the Añejo. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm digging the Asunia. Let's pour this out. Oh, yeah. That is the Blanco right there. And I'll do the same for the Añejo. Put that bottle topper back in. Let your bottles pop. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. And let's pour this Añejo out. All right. If you haven't done so already as well, we are now on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. So you can take us on the go when you can't watch audio-only format. All right. So we poured both of these bad boys out. What I'm going to do is actually let them sit for a moment and kind of aerate, open up a little bit. Um, so we will be right back. All right, everybody, we are back. I've just been letting these sit for a moment. Haven't touched them. Uh, let's get on into this. All right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Taking a look at the legs and tears on the Blanco I'm trying to get that zoomed in focus a little bit there we go you can see it in the back uh, that's pretty sticky that is very 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 sticky for a Blanco like you have a, haven't even seen any any movement 
That's kind of crazy. Wow. All right. Asunia. Cheers, everybody. So this Blanco right here, before I take a smell and sip, uh, they're saying they're making it with Valley uh, Agaves. Uh, they're harvested by hand, of course, and roasted for 36 hours in traditional clay ovens. They're fermented naturally in open air vats with wild born yeast and finished with double pot still distillation. I got that straight from their website. Taking a sip on the, I mean, a, ooh, <laughs> taking a smell on this. Oh, that agave. Whoa. Cook the agave right to the face. I absolutely love it. Oh, I'm such a huge Cook the Agave fan, especially on my Blancos. And mm, I love Blancos that are extremely agave cooked forward. And this right here, wow. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this right now. Oh, that is huge. It's got kind of a flowery smell to it. I'm. Like a floral, even I want to say like, it's like a tiny, it's like minty-ish, like a menthol-ish slightly in my nose, like a floral menthol. Um, ooh, but that agave, oh my gosh. Mmm, a little vegetal in there too. It's kind of like menthol-y, floral, like a menthol flower. Uh, petals, that's not, that is, that is great. Let me take a sip, cheers. Okay, mm. oh, the coating, the coating on my mouth. That coating that was going on in the glass, definitely in the mouth as well. Uh, the finish is still going. What a long finish too, that is great. Very agave forward, extremely cooked agave. It feels like it wants to kind of, it's like a mix between, uh, like it wants to be dry, but it's not. Um, I just got this coating all over my mouth and it's just that really agave flavor um, but that floralness is in there let me take another sip mm. oh the smell on this thing mm. oh yeah okay Definitely, that agave is there. Um, it has, it's not like a real bite at all. It has that floralness to it. Um, it's kind of, it's like a very mellow pepperishness. I know anybody out there likes Blancos. A lot of times you get that black pepper. Um, it definitely has black pepper, but there's no spice on this. There's no spice whatsoever, but it does have a heatness to it if that makes sense so it's not spicy it's not like oh like a very strong flavor it's an extremely smooth feeling and mouth feel it coats your mouth but you're definitely getting a black pepper taste in there too let me take another sip mm. Mm -hmm. yes it's like that agave black pepper niche black pepper-ishness to it. Um, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. What's really cool too is just the mouth feel on this. It coats your mouth. It's odd. It kind of makes your mouth go numb slightly, if, if that makes sense. If you ever take this and do kind of like a tasting like we've done, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, I highly recommend it, but really cool, really cool. I'm going to take a sip of water, and then we're going to try out this on Diego. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so some information about this Añejo here. Again, taking it straight from their website. Um, using those Valley Agaves. Uh, they're roasted 36 hours, again, in a clay oven. Fermented naturally in open-air vats with wild born yeast. So just like the Blanco, again, that's the Blanco process. But to get it to the Añejo, they aged it up to 18 months in American oak barrels. All right, up to 18 months in American oak barrels. So let's kind of swirl it around, get some of those legs and tears in there. Um, you can see it in the back. Again, this is an extremely sticky tequila. Both the Blanco and the Añejo. It's like the Añejo stuck. It's it's not moving <laughs> anywhere. That is insane, the stickiness on this brand. 
I'm loving it. Really dark golden color. All right, Asunia, cheers, salud, let's take a smell. Ooh, okay, okay. Mmm. That's definitely, um, the agave is gone. <laughs> I can't smell the agave anymore. Maybe the tiniest hint, but absolutely getting a lot of that wood in there. A lot of oakiness. Kind of even like caramelly. There's an alcoholness to it as well. There really is. But it's you're getting a lot of oak, a lot of wood. Hmm, that's that's interesting. Stirring it around, kind of opening it up again. That floralness is gone as well. Everything from the Blanco, it was really agave forward and very kind of floral, um, is completely gone to my nose in the Añejo. Definitely getting some fruitiness. It's like a fruity oak. Mm. That is interesting. All right, let's take a sip. Cheers. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So, definitely that oak. I'm starting to get a little bit of vanilla in there as well. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't taste super additive, kind of, but I don't know. That vanilla, once you taste a, a, a tequila, an ace tequila with that vanilla additive, um, it's unmistakable. Here, it's like this tiniest, slightest hint um, of vanilla, but hold on. Let's take another sip. Yeah, really oaky and woody. Um, the agave and floralness is gone. You're definitely getting a lot of that oak. Um, uh, somewhat of a vanilla. It's like a hint of vanilla. But even too, like even like like a black cherry. I don't know if you ever had, like you could taste that like strength of a cherry, like a real deep, dark black cherry. Um, that's what I'm getting off this as well. So kind of cool. It's a little spicy, but again, it's not... Um, powerful it's very smooth in the mouth coat your mouth completely um when they said you know the smoothness of this i could absolutely agree um, so cheers to asunia all right i saved the sip of both i'm gonna do back to back here's the last pour of this uh blanco mm. and the onion mm. Oh, yeah. Two solid expressions. They really are. Um, the mouthfeel on these are kind of unique. It's when I say it kind of made my mouth go numb on both of them. It's really interesting. Uh, great, great lineup right here. I dug both the Blanco and the Añejo. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it just seems like a pretty well-crafted tequila. Not a lot of manipulation going on there. Um, I would wonder if there's any additives in that. It doesn't taste like it, but there might be the tiniest hint. Uh, but overall, both of these are pretty solid uh, solid offerings from this brand, Azunia Tequila. And uh, yeah, no, I could definitely recommend these. Um, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like and subscribe, as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right, everybody. Thank you for being with us. Cheers and take care.